I'll just focus on my breath. Okay, sure. And then within an hour, hour, 30 minutes, some, something happened. Like I started uh, uh, kind of like shaking a little bit. And then it just like, poof, I went to somewhere else. And that's when I, I heard this thing where it was like, hey, hey, you, you're here. And it's like, <laughs> you so finally cool. found me. You finally found me. It's, I've been, I've been, I've been with you this whole time, but like you can never hear me. It's, it was like my unconscious. Yamo Sean means uh, my, my name is Sean. Yeah, yes. my name is Sean. Yeah, Como se llama? Fern Marie. Fern Marie. Fern Marie. Uh, Fern Marie. Fern Marie. Nice to meet you, Fern and Marie. You were born in LA. I was. What brings you to Thailand? What brings me here is um, Mantak Chia, Master Mantak Chia, Taoism. Oh, Taoism. He has a dark room retreat, which um, I don't know if you're familiar with, but when you go the weeks at a time in the dark, it activates CMT in oh, your pineal gland. Okay. So it's like having this experience similar to ayahuasca without the medicine, yeah. without the plants. Yeah. So it's on your own. Did you try this yet? So this is why why I'm here. So you're gonna try this? Yes. You haven't done it yet, though. <laughs> no, right? not yet. Can you come back and ex tell me about of it? Course. Of course. How long do you have to be in the dark? Uh, well, you can do one week. You oh can do two weeks. One you can do three one weeks. One week in the dark. Or four weeks. And it's so cool. They have an entire building. Yeah. And then the building itself is designed to be in the dark. So the building itself oh is very God. dark when you go in. But when they start the retreat, they cover the entire outside of the building. <laughs> so it's literally no light. Are you going today? So this, that's what I just came on Wednesday. Uh -huh. And I'm here for three weeks to prepare for this. Uh, dark room retreat. Oh, how far is it? I'd like to go check it out. Oh, yeah, you should come. They have it every year, only once a year though. Oh, so shoot. it's next February. Yeah, I just want to see. I don't want to do. I, oh, I cannot do it. Seven. Yeah, yeah. No, you should yeah, yeah, totally to. do it. I have this is part of your path. Yeah, man. I, I have to wait because I have I have too many projects going on right no, now. No, but so we'll plan for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to plan for so it. So in your next book, year, you talk year. about. Um, Okay, so this is a good segue okay. to talk about you. Yeah, sure. Um, I feel that you have so many insights that can help people like me and people that really want to connect to their higher purpose. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to interview you okay. because uh, you you're living it. So a lot of times people ask me, how are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And I just say, it's, I'm following what my heart says. Yeah. But in your book, you talk about all of these things. Yeah. Like you've already done it. Yeah. So I'm, you I'm, I'm still learning about it as well. I'm just as curious as you. But, uh, which is why you're going to come to the dark. Uh, room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah. So yeah. Like 40 minutes yeah. away from you. Oh, thank you for, uh, for saying those nice things. Yeah. I, I, uh, just just for the record, I just want to say that I, I, I'm still uh, like a, I feel like I'm a young kid that's still learning about these things. But I do meditate and I do listen to the intuition and I I'm always looking for teachers and um, l learning to get better. And uh, I'm honored that you're, you want to interview me about this. You're so, the first you. person that I interview. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So what, what, what made you see that I am on this path? Well, I first saw a video of you a year ago when I went to Peru. And uh, I don't know how that video showed up, uh -huh. but I completely was, I, I felt the connection. Mm -hmm. And it was a video about um, uh, the path of the beggar that uh. 
uh, wanted to talk to the Buddha. Yes, yes. And then he found so many obstacles along the way. Yeah. And then when he finally came to the Buddha, then he had the teaching yeah. to go back to yeah, all yeah. of these people yeah. that for had the obstacle and then yeah. he fell in love or something yeah, like that yeah. with one of So in that, yeah, that that's an amazing epic story. Yeah, yeah. That that's one. a really long story. Yeah. But I instantly connected with you. And then also I went to... Um, the Himalayas, I was in Rikisha, uh, Rishi, mm. Rishikesh in India, and I saw that you visited uh, the Dalai Lama. Yes. How did you see that? On Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. <laughs> okay. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, I have had this connection with you since my beginning. Oh, wow. And now I'm here. Wow. <laughs> and your name with the Dao Cafe yeah. is just like the Dao Garden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I oh, thought that's beautiful. Yeah. that I would I would have you as the first person I interview because my goal is to inspire people to do what they love doing. Mm -hmm. And you have done that. You talk about it in your book. Yeah. Like you, you say when um, find mentors and yeah. and uh, follow your intuition yes. but you've done it so yeah. a lot of people ask me how am i doing what i'm doing and i like i, I said i mm. tell them to follow their intuition yeah but uh, most importantly is the answer that i get either people completely dismiss my desire to share or they want to do it but they find all these obstacles oh yeah but you've done it. So can yeah. you please tell us a little bit about yeah. how you started? Yeah. Very similar to what you said. You s one day you said you surrendered, right? Um, that's exactly what I did. But I did it um, when I was about 19 years old. I just looked in the sky and I said, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I was like, you know, a lost teenager, not knowing what to do this with his life. This is in life. L.A.? This is in L.A. And I just said, um, yeah, just. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my life, but uh, whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to say, uh, I'll do it. Whatever is up there. You know, I, I, I don't subscribe to any one religion. I kind of love all of them. I just said, just give me a sign and I'll follow it. So after that day, I just, whatever came, I tried it. Like the movie, Yes Man. Uh, he oh. just kind of said yes to everything. To everything. So my friends wanted me to it's it's funny yeah the people you surround yourself with will will really imp impact the your mastermind life. that you yeah. talk about yeah and they're just telling me hey you should try you're good at this you should try this so i uh, i tried making music okay and then i uh, did music and then someone said hey why don't you try acting you're like I, it was it was because i had to do a short film and people liked it so i tried that and then I just kept following the signs. Like so many people kept recommending me to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I just took it as a sign and I tried it. And um, I always felt that there was, after that day, I always felt like there was something guiding me, but also because I, I trusted it. I trusted the, what you'd say like the universe or whatever. And at that time I also meditated. So I meditated to the point where it wasn't vipassana. Vipassana is a form of meditation that you're very aware of, your of everything. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, and you're just observing, right? Mm -hmm. But there's another type of meditation called samatha. Ah. Yeah, samatha is when you focus on only one thing. And that that's, um, was, uh, you just focus on the breath. And thoughts come in you don't eat you don't observe them you'd make you push the thoughts away yeah even um itchiness you kind of just i'm itchy okay go back to the breath yes so this is uh how samata. do you call it samatha yeah in vipassana we call it anapana ah. it's the same concept ah, okay so for the first three days that's the only thing you do like yeah yeah you here. yeah you are doing samatha for the first three days because that's giving you like the strength to be able to do vipassana yes yeah so so you did I that. did samatha, but n not vipassana. So samatha, there's so many ways to do it. Um, some people can't focus on the breath. So some people, there's actually 40 ways. You can 40? look... 40? 40? Yeah, 40. But it's only one object. So let's say 
someone is uh, that cannot focus on the breath too long, you would maybe put fire and they just look at fire for a long time. That's what the Rishis did, kind of like the the ancient, like kind of like we, they look like wizards. They would just look at fire, and that's one way to, I guess, reach a form of enlightenment. And uh, some people look at water, some people look at trees, and there's even for people that are stuck with beauty, look at bones or look at a corpse, and you just stare at it and focus on it for a long time, and then something happens. You become enlightened. Wow. Yeah. So. Do you know Sadhguru? Yeah. I, he talks I, I a like little him. bit of of that when he was a young kid. He was uh, maybe eight, and he did really poorly in school. Yeah. And he would just stare, and he would stare at the teacher forever. Yeah. And <laughs> so yeah. this sounds like what he yeah, was Yeah, yeah. This is one thing, and then something happens when you do that. So, um, back to what I was doing was uh, samatha meditation, and they say this form of meditation takes longer to become enlightened that's why the courses you go to um vipassana is is the path they say it is the the quicker path to enlightenment but my way the what i was doing because i wasn't taught i was only taught to focus on the breath um the reason why it takes longer to become enlightened that what they say is because when you do this form of meditation you kind of unlock certain things like in your mind or um, higher intuition or sometimes like the, you, you could say superpowers you kind of unlock superpowers so some people would see things mm -hmm. like some people would see things and then connect it with a past life or some people would even think they saw the future and mm -hmm. then it actually happens like a week later mm -hmm. um, the reason why it takes longer to to be enlightened by this is because people once they start feeling this power they kind of like get attached to it and once you get attached that's when they you will stop not yeah that's when you growing. stop growing to enlightenment mm -hmm. so um that's why they say this is the hardest but that's why vipassana is important exactly vipassana teaches you not to attach to anything exactly. good or bad yeah and this is like the story in your book about the farmer with mm -hmm. the horse yeah yeah. So uh, when something good happens, the farmer says, well, that may have been good luck, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. So, yeah, I was doing that type of meditation and I started to really connect to um, things that seemed <laughs> seemed beyond like physical, the physical realm. I would meditate and I would um, feel like I actually met my soul. And it told me that, hey, you're not the body. You're this, you're this. You saw theory. that in your meditation. Yeah, yeah. The first How time I meditated. The first time. Yeah. It was, it was weird. Like, uh, it was, it was good too, because. That sounds pretty fast. Yeah. You it said it takes a little while. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's, I didn't expect anything. It was for my dad's uh, birthday. And he took me up in the mountains, kind of tricked me and said, for my birthday, I just wanted to s sit and meditate here all night. And uh, I, th I said, okay, there's no cell phone reception. There's nothing for me to do. And luckily I was taking, um, I was learning psychology at my college. And they said, my teacher would always say, you're here, so just be here now. If you think about your girlfriend, then you're just wasting your time in here. Yes, where so you I put thought, your attention is yeah. where you place your energy. Yeah, so I thought, okay, I'll just meditate all night. And within an hour or half an hour, since I didn't expect anything, I just thought this is I'm this is kind of lame and I'll just I'll just focus on my breath. OK, sure. And then within an hour, hour, 30 minutes, some, something happened. Like I started uh, uh, kind of like shaking a little bit and then it just like poof, I went to somewhere else. And that's when I I heard this thing where it was like, hey, hey, you you're here and it's like <laughs> you so finally cool. found me you finally found me it's, i've been tr i've been here i've been with you this whole time but like you could never hear me it's it was like my i don't know it could be the unconscious if you want to scientifically the subconscious or the soul and it was telling me like hey you're not just the body you're not just this thing you're you're actually this this like that light is awesome why isn't that in your book it's kind of detailed i guess 
yeah it's a little too detailed no it's great yeah and i'm glad that we're talking because yeah. people need to hear that <laughs> yeah, i'll look crazy <laughs> but yeah if people watch the whole thing they'll kind of get the context of the whole thing right i don't know if it's in my book i have to check it it's but not it's not <laughs> <laughs> so but I, I think i'll save that for um my spiritual book i feel like i'm not i haven't reached to that point yet but after that that's that voice has been with me the whole time oh so you connect with it constantly? yeah yeah always always so um it's always telling me kind of what to do and what not to do through the form of like feeling like when when i first saw your you talking i felt like do it and then it was like okay sure and, but then um it's that like not so really cool. logical that's what i felt too yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's not really logical yet. No, I understand. Yeah. That's what I was telling Anne. Yeah. I was like, I think it's just meant to be. <laughs> yeah. So that's how, well, your question was, how, how did I start this journey? Was through that surrendering and meditation. Yeah. Just saying, I don't want anything out of life. Like, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. I'll, I'll be like a, your servant. I'll be a servant for the world. So ever since then, it's kind of just just guided me ever since then. That's yeah. beautiful.